guys, it's Daisy Stalls. Today I am going to be doing a homage like tag update number six, I believe. Let me just check real quick. Yes, six. So welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you things that I have made and it has been a while since I've done the last homage like tag update. So I really hope you enjoy watching this video. Um, I want to start off with, um, cause I have made two repaints. So I, I thought I would just get those out of the way first. So the first one is actually a re-sculpt. Oh gosh, you cannot see it. Oh no. It has to be weirdly overexposed for this part to work. I'm really sorry. So this is Dapple Dude. He is my first ever complete re-sculpt. I have tried to re-sculpt in the past, but I've never succeeded. But I really, really love how he turned out. He does have quite a few flaws, but you know, I don't really care. So yeah, if you want frequent updates on things like this, follow my Instagram. I post a lot of pictures there. So yeah. The second horse is a little bit lighter, so you might be able to see it. Yes, this is Esmeralda. She's my, honestly, like my favorite horse now. So she was the 2018... Connemara Mare, Connemara Mare, and I repainted her to be a bit darker, and or actually a bit lighter and not as yellow. So I'll put the original model or like color here. But I I honestly like the repaint better. Yeah, I really really like her. I like her little dapple butt and the shading and everything. And I got some soft pastels from my parents. So, my repaints are going to start looking a little bit better. So, yeah. So now let's get into what this series is about. Tack. This is First Saddle NV Studios on Instagram. Had a very, very great style tutorial. And I've kind of made my own style so many times that I've kind of gotten blind, if you know what I mean. Like, I've done it so many times that I just do the same routine over and over again. And uh, watching her tutorial made me realize that she made, or she had some really good techniques. So I used some of those, including that I used leather instead of hot glue for these little pads under here. And I lined the side with leather cord. I really, really like how it turned out. Then I made this girth. Then I made another one. This is kind of a pony saddle. Um, it's supposed to be a hunter saddle, but I don't really know, like, the distinct features of a hunter saddle. But, yeah, so it is for Esmeralda, actually. I made her a hunter set. So it's basically the same thing, just smaller. And then, there's the girth. Then for Esmeralda's hunter set, I made her a hunter bridle and martingale. So it's just my basic bridle design. If you have seen my how to make a bridle video, um, you'll know how it looks. I'll put the link down below. And then the martingale attaches to the nose band right here. And it um, connects to this ring that's go that goes around the neck. And then this attaches to the girth. Another thing for Esmeralda, because I just love her so much, I made her this little blanket. And oh my gosh, I've fallen in love with this fabric. So it is, again, I'll link the <laughs> blanket tutorial down below if you want to watch it. But it has adjustable belly straps. Then this is the front buckles. And it has some padding right here. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Then I have a bigger blanket. This is actually the one I made uh, in the tutorial. Um, it's not, it doesn't have such a great shape actually, but it fits really nicely on the horse I made it for, which was the Tinker Stallion, uh, the retired one, I believe. So it just, it's basically the same, only has uh, like some under straps here, which I kind of regret putting on because they don't, they're very hard to put on. Yeah. This is the last thing for Esmeralda, I swear. So this is a halter I made with brown leather. And if you've followed me for a while, you haven't 
you probably know that I don't really craft with brown leather because I've never found any. But again, uh, my sister asked me if I wanted some shoes that she wasn't going to use. And uh, the sole of it had very thin brown leather. So I was so excited and I used it. And it just goes to show that you can recycle so much and use it for crafting supplies. So it has a tongue buckle that actually works in this little clip. Then it also comes with a lead rope, which isn't that nicely done, but whatever. So I made a bunch of bits. So the first bit is just a rubber loose ring straight bit. I actually know like the technical um, name for it. But it's made of polymer clay and wire. The next one we have a leather bit, which actually has been a lot more popular uh, in the later days. And I find it to be a really great bit. I've never tried it, but it seems like it's very soft. So I want to try it, but I don't have a horse, so you know. Then we have another rubber straight bit, only this is a D-ring. Or kind of an egg butt, I don't know. This one is probably like my proudest one. This is a rubber fr French link or a double broken bit. Um, so yeah, it actually like works. This is the bit that I use on shadow, only it is not rubber. And here we have a uh, single broken loose ring rubber snaffle. This is probably the most good looking one. And then we have this bit which I it's probably not like a real bit even, but I just made it so I had more. <laughs> we have one last thing. This is a wool halter with reins. So it's a bitless bridle kind of thing, but it's a rope halter. <laughs> I made it, oh my gosh, I actually made this for Esmeralda too. I'm obsessed with Esmeralda. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a normal rope halter. I have a rope halter um, tutorial on my channel if you're interested. So that was it for this homage like tag update with some repaints. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And yeah, let me know what you think. Leave me some suggestions for things I can make. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh my gosh, my cat has caught a bird and she's right there.